Good afternoon everyone. Today, we are here to discuss the Salt Satyagraha and its impact on India's fight for independence, as presented by Gurukul Prep. We will examine the historical context of the Salt Satyagraha, the various people and organizations who played an important role, as well as the outcome of the movement and its contribution to India's struggle for independence. So, let's begin. The Salt Satyagraha was a pivotal moment in India's quest for freedom. In 1930, Mahatma Gandhi began the civil disobedience campaign against the British's unjust salt tax levied on India. This campaign took the form of a march from Gujarat to the Arabian Sea, a long and peaceful demonstration that gained national and international attention. The Salt Satyagraha was successful in its protests, and the salt tax was repealed, contributing to the furtherance of India's freedom. The campaign also demonstrated the strength of peaceful protest and non-violence in the face of an oppressive regime, and eventually led to India's independence in 1947. Over a century ago, in the late 19th century, the people of India were under the oppressive rule of the British colonizers. Economic exploitation and political oppression persisted throughout the years, increasing the desire of the Indian people for freedom. In 1930, the Salt Satyagraha, also known as the Salt March, was held in opposition to the British rule of heavy taxation on salt. Led by Mahatma Gandhi and several hundred political activists, it was a peaceful protest that drew international attention. The march initiated a series of non-violent protests, eventually resulting in India's independence in 1947. The Salt Satyagraha was a pivotal event in India's journey to freedom. The salt tax was an oppressive tax imposed by the British with far-reaching implications on India's economy and people. It levied taxes on salt, an essential item regularly consumed by all, yet it came at a hefty price, beyond the means of the less affluent Indian population. This induced great hardship, from farmers trying to cultivate in the fields to laborers working in occupations, and became a tangible representation of British tyranny and avarice. The Salt Satyagraha was a highly significant stage in India's march to independence and a critical juncture in the journey towards gaining autonomy from colonial rule. The Salt Satyagraha was a pivotal movement in India's struggle for independence. Gandhi's call for a 24-day march from Sabarmati to Dandi, as a form of civil disobedience against the British colonial rule, was intended to protest against the salt monopoly and tax on Indians. This march gained a great deal of attention worldwide as it marked a shift from appeals and negotiations to broad-scale civil disobedience. This campaign was influential in terms of both the Indian economy and the lives of the people. And it raised India's freedom struggle to the international platform. In 1930, Mahatma Gandhi led the Salt March, also known as the Salt Satyagraha, to demonstrate the collective power of the people. Starting from Sabarmati Ashram, Gandhi marched 240 miles in 24 days to Dandi, a coastal village in Gujarat. This peaceful, yet powerful form of protest spread across India and inspired similar movements worldwide. In response, the British government used violence and repression, arresting thousands of protesters and imposing harsh penalties. Despite this, the people's nonviolent fight for justice pushed the British government to negotiate Indian leaders for independence, leading to India's eventual freedom. This moment is an important reminder of the success that can be achieved through peaceful protest in the fight for justice. The Salt Satyagraha was a remarkable example of nonviolent resistance that drew worldwide attention. Its heroic and peaceful approach spurred other nations aspiring for liberation. Moreover, press coverage of the event heightened the awareness of the cause, gaining support from those who might not have otherwise been informed. Additionally, countries such as the United States, whose civil rights movements were deeply impacted by the Salt Satyagraha, expressed their endorsement. It demonstrated that nonviolent resistance can be a potent weapon for transformation and became a source of motivation for numerous other struggles around the globe. The Salt Satyagraha, led by Mahatma Gandhi, 
was met with fierce repression by the British government. Thousands were arrested including Gandhi himself and hundreds were killed as peaceful protests were broken up by violence. In addition to this, the British imposed economic sanctions on those who supported the Satyagraha, including confiscating property, freezing bank accounts and cutting off access to credit and loans. Despite these measures, the Satyagraha continued to gain momentum and support both inside and outside India, making an essential contribution to India's fight for independence. The Salt Satyagraha of 1930 was a landmark moment in India's fight for independence. As part of the civil disobedience movement, Mahatma Gandhi called for the boycott of British goods and institutions, as well as non-payment of taxes. Not only did this bring people together from across Indian society to unite in the struggle for freedom, it demonstrated the resolve of Indians to defy British rule and use non-violent resistance to achieve independence. Furthermore, it inspired similar movements for freedom around the world. Sparking movements for independence in other British colonies. The Salt Satyagraha was instrumental in catalyzing the Indian freedom struggle. It began in 1930 when Mahatma Gandhi led thousands of activists in a march to the sea to protest the British-imposed tax on salt. The act of defiance sparked a mass civil disobedience campaign across the country and brought global attention to the struggle against British rule. Moreover, it galvanized other Indian nationalist leaders to take a stand against the British Raj, galvanizing the country's independence movement. After more than two years of nationwide protests, the British finally granted India its independence. By refusing to accept the oppressive rules and regulations set by the British, the Salt Satyagraha demonstrated to the world the power of peaceful civil disobedience. The Salt Satyagraha was a landmark event in India's journey to independence. It was an unprecedented display of civil disobedience in which thousands of Indians peacefully protested against British rule. Through this act of defiance, Indian nationalists were able to bring global attention to the cause of freedom and inspire the entire nation to rally together in pursuit of independence. The Salt Satyagraha ultimately paved the way for India to gain its long-sought-after freedom from British rule and establish itself as a democratic country. The second phase of the Salt Satyagraha witnessed an extraordinary amount of involvement from Indians of all backgrounds, including females and peasants. People were willing to jeopardize their safety by defying the salt laws mandated by the British and by fabricating their own salt, and refusing British goods. This act of assertiveness forced the British government to enter into talks, although these negotiations ultimately failed. The Salt Satyagraha is an important part of the Indian history. Portraying the effectiveness of peaceful protest and civil disobedience. It generated a feeling of solidarity and unity amongst the citizens of India, influencing similar movements worldwide. Salt Satyagraha of 1930 played an important role in India's struggle for freedom, which showed the power of passive resistance and civil disobedience, and inspired a lot of future movements, such as 1942's Quit India movement. That movement was an integral part of India's quest for independence and brought together people from all walks of life. It was led by Mahatma Gandhi and got the population to oppose British rule. The courage and dedication of those who took part in the Quit India movement enabled India to obtain its freedom. The Salt Satyagraha was a major milestone in India's fight for independence, demonstrating the ability of individuals of different cultural, religious and regional backgrounds to collaborate towards a common goal. Its nonviolent principles resonated beyond India's borders, influencing the civil rights and freedom movements across the world, as exemplified in the leadership of figures such as Martin Luther King Jr. and Nelson Mandela. Even now, its legacy serves as a reminder of the power of nonviolent resistance and of the capacity of ordinary people to make a difference. No matter the challenges they face. Salt Satyagraha was an influential movement that brought together the different elements of Indian independence struggle, and it sparked mass civil disobedience across India. This mass protest had a great international impact, as it drew worldwide attention to India's fight for freedom, the publicity gave the movement great momentum and applied pressure on Britain to tackle the needs of the Indian people. 
Salt Satyagraha was an influential event in India's journey to independence. It had a ripple effect beyond India's boundaries, and the ideals of non-violence and civil disobedience propagated by Gandhi are still used by protesters globally. From the civil rights movement in the US to the fight against apartheid in South Africa, Gandhi's teachings of peaceful defiance have spurred multiple generations to pursue liberty and justice. The Salt Satyagraha showed that with commitment and non-aggressive protest, positive transformation is possible. Sixty years ago, the Salt Satyagraha emerged as a critical milestone in India's independence movement. It served to embody the power of nonviolent resistance, demonstrate the potency of civil disobedience as a medium of protest, and highlight how a unified stance against injustice can be achieved. These invaluable lessons are still relevant today, so as we work towards creating a more just and equitable society, we must give due consideration to the valuable insights of the Salt Satyagraha. The Salt Satyagraha was a momentous and far-reaching event in the Indian freedom struggle, led by Mahatma Gandhi. It was a non-violent resistance movement that brought worldwide attention to the injustices of the British occupation of India. Its influence has endured until present day, even inspiring similar movements elsewhere. It stands as an emblem of peaceful protest, and a sign that justice and equality must always be fought for. As we conclude this presentation, let us take a moment to reflect on the impact of the Salt Satyagraha and its continuing legacy. Thank you.